Barn Whiskey is a distilled spirit aged in wooden barrels that makes not an enormous amount of appearances in Star Trek throughout the years in the series. But I thought taking an attempt at making it into a cocktail could be a, you know, a pretty fun challenge. Truthfully, I could have done either Romulan Ale. Romulan Ale? Why, Bones, you know this is illegal. I only use it for medicinal purposes. Or Klingon Blood Wine. But don't get between me and the blood wine! Oh. Or even the Samarian Sunset, but I feel like all of those, especially the first two, have been pretty much done to death in the YouTube cocktail scene by now. Old Barn Whiskey first appears in name in Star Trek The Next Generation Season 6 Episode 4, when Montgomery Scott Starfleet Legends steps aboard the bar in the 10 forward. May I help you, sir? Hi, lad. Scotch. Neat. Scotty is a poor de dram by Data, taken from Guinan's private stash. Guinan? Guinan? Guinan. After being disappointed with the synthahol that was served on board. <sighs> synthetic scotch, synthetic commanders. Scotty and uh, Data's interaction here just really cracks me up. I don't know, there's, there's something about Scotty's face which, um, which just really <laughs> quite makes me laugh during this scene. It is. It is, it is green. Through the, the way that the dialogue was written in this scene, uh, it's a very obvious nod back to season two, episode 22, I think, of the Star Trek original series, when Scotty is uh, trying to inebriate an alien called Tomar and is taking human form. What is it? Well, it's... Um... It's green. Which makes me think that uh, Aldebar and Whiskey was, you know, retconned in back into the original series. So uh, I guess you could say that it showed up as early as season two in the Star Trek original series. I don't know what it is exactly, but I would be real careful. It's real. Aldebar and Whiskey. Who do you think gave it to Guinan? Now, as for making Aldebar and Whiskey into a drinkable cocktail, Looking at the colour of it, I thought about just pouring a glass of absinthe and calling it a day, as it's green and strong. But uh, that wouldn't really be very fun, nor very challenging. Uh, for the first instance, it wouldn't be whiskey, and I really wanted to stick with the premium Scotch whiskey vibe. You know, having the Old Barn Whiskey cocktail be in the, in the area of a premium top shelf spirit. This was obviously quite hard because of the green colour of Old Barn Whiskey, and uh, not a lot of green ingredients going very well uh, with Scotch whiskey. Um, and I especially didn't want to use green food dye because that would just be, you know, cheating. And the best look that we get at the stuff uh, makes it seem that it's not perfectly clear, you know, like, uh, like an earth whiskey. Uh, so I feel like making a sour variation would actually get us fairly close to what we see in the scene when uh, Data serves it up to Scotty. Um, I am, of course, going to use a Scotch whiskey, um, and the single malt I'm going to use is the uh, is the Glenfiddich 12 year. Um, this is a really nice uh, space side, uh, so I would definitely caution away from like a smoky Isla because I don't think that that'll uh, that'll jive well with uh, some of the ingredients we have we have in here. I think sticking with a a really crisp, a really clean space side whiskey is going to be best here, and I think I'm going to use this uh, cobbler shaker. I've never used this before on the show, and it's Quite, uh, quite a cute little thing. So uh, I'm gonna take this, uh, it's a shake and drink, sour, obviously. And the first thing we are going to need is one ounce of lemon juice. Uh, we're then going to need half an ounce of a ginger syrup. This is just a homemade ginger syrup that I made by making a simple inverse simple syrup and infusing it with ginger by basically chucking the whole lot in the pot with it and leaving that to simmer for something like an hour until it was down to the ratio of an inverse. So half an ounce of ginger syrup. And as for our green, and this is one of the reasons why I think you should stay with a crisp, clean space side, is um, Midori Melon Liqueur. This obviously serves a great purpose of getting green into cocktails without dyes, but um, it's obviously a very crisp, very clean, sweet flavour and with more full-bodied smoky whiskies, I feel like that there'll be too much of a contrast. So half an ounce of Midori. 
We will need two ounces of our Scotch whiskey. Uh, and last but not least, we are going to need just a dash or two of these hopped grapefruit bitters. We're then going to add ice and shake. And I'm going to serve this up neat in in this uh, this quite nice little um, well, I think it's a tasting glass to have. I didn't quite have any uh, any cool sci-fi looking glasses to serve it up in, but uh, I think this tasting glass will do quite nicely. And I'm going to double strain this. And there you have it, our Old Baron whiskey. And I think the colour really closely matches what we see in the uh, in the scene between Data and Scotty in the Next Generation. I'm, I'm really really pleased with the way that, uh, that the way this looks. Okay, and it uh, it it um it is green. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, let, let's try this. Mm. No, I'm very happy with the way that this came out. Wow. This is super refreshing and the bite of that ginger really, really lends itself to the smooth and crisp Speyside whiskey in the melon really comes through in that regard. I know there's perhaps some whiskey purists that would be quite against the adding of Midori to whiskey in a cocktail, but it goes really, really well with that crisp, refreshing Speyside scotch. And it's perfectly sweet and all that comes together and boosts up that lemon, which goes obviously fantastically uh, with whiskey. And now I finally understand why Picard would gift a bottle of this to Guinan. Guinan. Yeah, I think and, well, at the very least, I hope that this can live up to people's expectations of the Aldebaran whiskey. Um, and I think using, you know, a 12-year-old scotch in here is, is really the right move here, because not only does it complement the ginger, the lemon, the Midori really, really nicely, um, it just fits thematically really, really well, especially with obviously Scotty looking for scotch. Um, there was no other way I really could have gone with it. And with that ginger syrup, it just reminds me of a slightly more spicy, more complex whiskey sour with a little bit more kick. Thank you once again for joining me for In The Drink. As always, I've been Joe, your host, and I've really, really enjoyed bringing this episode uh, to you and perhaps even more, uh, drinking this fine Old Barn whiskey aged for 12 years. Not in the old barn system, but uh, in the space side of Scotland. If you enjoyed the show, please, it would mean a great deal of me if you subscribed, if you liked the video. And if there was something you thought I did particularly well, I would love to hear about it in the comments, or perhaps if there was something I could improve, that's equally good to hear about in the comments as well. Thanks for joining me in this episode, and I will see you in the next episode. Live long and prosper. Or is it that? Oh God, which one is it? Aldebaran whiskey.